What you want to look at is from the base of his horn where the hair is, how high up does he go? How much curl does he have? And sometimes the curl goes in, sometimes it goes back, sometimes it's just little nubs. I had one guy once shot an antelope that his horns crossed over and touched. Oh, wow. It was cool. Yeah. Then you also want to look at how long his prong is and how high on the horn the prong is. If the base of the prong is up near the tip of the ear, if you draw a line right there, that's a, that's a pretty good one. That's a pretty good one. And so, in general, that's a pretty good judgment of how big he is compared to his ear count and his curl, how big the prong is and where the prong is on the horn. If it's real bit low down here, he might be a mature buck, but is that something you'd want on the wall? That's up to you. And then last thing is, is you want to judge how thick the horn is, and you kind of use the ear to compare that to. It's looking for this to meet that. Yep, that's that's the first easiest thing to judge. Right. I've killed antelope with little tiny prongs. I've killed antelope that were 18 inches, but they were as big as a half dollar. They weren't as big around as that guy. Yeah. So antelope are very hard to figure out. They're very diverse. They are. And what I want you to do is what you go home with, I want you to be happy with. If you look at one and I say, that might be a pretty nice antelope, that don't look good on your wall, you say, yeah, let's go look at some more. Sometimes when you're looking at them straight on, that black face, some of them get really black faces. It makes their horns look giant. Mm -hmm. So you gotta remember to forget about the nose. Because sometimes that makes the horns look huge. Okay. Especially if they're out there at two, three hundred yards. Yeah. Whoa. Yeah. You really gotta take your time and make sure that's what you're looking at and not the face. Does that make sense? Yes, sir. Okay.